Welcome back, everyone. In today's episode of Stock Secrets, we're going to dig into a classic short selling strategy that you can use to add some negative delta to your trading portfolio. On its own, this strategy isn't that impressive, so we're going to beef it up and transform it into a really good strategy. We're going to write a few technical indicators and some studies, so if that sounds like something that interests you, stick around because this episode is going to be a lot of fun. If you're a returning viewer, then you already know this. But for those of you who might have found this video from Google or from my website, let me first welcome you. It's important to me that all of the new viewers know that the strategies that I share in this series, Stock Secrets, are intended to be supplemental to your long term investment portfolio. If you don't currently have a long term investment portfolio, then please head over to my playlists and watch some of the portfolio analysis episodes. These videos are strictly for people who have set a portion of their portfolio aside to actively trade. The strategy that we're going to look into today is called the Connors Crash, and it's a classic strategy. It goes way, way back. Before we get into the strategy rules, though, you need to understand this idea of delta risk. Let's say you have a portfolio that's full of long positions. In other words, in order for your portfolio to increase in value, you need the market to go up in price. This is called positive delta or delta risk. Most professional traders try to keep a delta neutral portfolio, which is to say that the portfolio is made up of a mix of long and short positions. A delta neutral portfolio makes money regardless of whatever direction the overall market is trending. Like I mentioned in the introduction, we're going to dig into the Connors crash strategy. But if you trade this strategy mechanically based on the rules alone, then it's really not a very good strategy in terms of pure profitability. We're going to put a modern spin on this classic strategy so that instead of being a pure short strategy, it's going to become a positive theta negative vega strategy. You're going to see how we transform this old strategy, which has a middling win rate with very low profits, into a strategy with a high win rate and substantial profits. So here are the rules to the Connors crash. Rule number one, the stock's closing price must be greater than $5 per share. Rule number two, the stock's average daily volume over the past 21 days must be at least 1 million shares per day. Rule number three, the stock's 100-day historical volatility must be at least 100%. Rule number four, the stock must have a closing Connors RSI reading of 90 at the close. Rule number five, sell a call option on the open of the following day once the previous four criteria is met. And rule six, you're going to exit, in other words, buy the option back when the stock closes with a Connors RSI reading under 30 or you reach a 50% profit target. In the next segment, we're going to walk through a functional demo of the strategy in action. The demo didn't go exactly the way that I had hoped it would. When I wrote this script, the stock that we picked looked like it was just about to trigger a buy signal, but it just barely missed. But that's not a bad thing because we really don't want to trade this strategy mechanically. That is to say that we don't want to trade this strategy blindly whenever the strategy raises a signal, because I guarantee you that the hedge fund algos are already doing that and they're going to beat you to the punch anyway. Before you watch the presentation, please keep in mind that this strategy is highly targeted and it's specialized. It only works for certain stocks and those are stocks that meet the indicator criteria. So it's not something that you use all the time. Rather, it's best to go looking for opportunities when you really need some short delta in your portfolio to balance out your long delta. One last note, you really need to trade this strategy with options. Without options, the strategy just doesn't produce enough profits per trade 
given the risk that you have to take. In the demo, I'm using naked short calls, but if you're not comfortable using naked options for fear of assignment, then feel free to replace the naked calls with defined risk trades like bear call spreads or whatever setup you prefer. The first thing that we need to do is find some stocks that we can apply the strategy to. In a perfect world, you'd set up a screener that would locate all the stocks that meet our criteria. But unfortunately, I couldn't find any free online screeners that offer the historical volatility and Connor's RSI indicators. It's important to me that everything I teach you in this stock secret series can be replicated without needing any expensive tools or data sets. So we're going to do this the hard way. First, we're going to head over to Bar Chart's Volatility Screener and sort the results by implied volatility. Then I'm going to scroll down to Mara, which is a stock that I use with this strategy a lot. Now, when I wrote this script, Mara's IVR rank was around 40%, and now it's down to 1%. So that tells us that Mara's current volatility is very low relative to the past 365 days. If I were looking for a trade today, I'd probably pass on this trade because it doesn't have enough negative vega, but for the purpose of this demo, we'll continue on to the next step. Next, we're going to open Mara's chart on TradingView, and the first thing we want to do is write a historical volatility indicator so that we can visualize this value on the chart. So here you can see me just quickly writing a get historical volatility function in our strategy that's going to plot the historical volatility on this chart. Note that this chart is a daily chart and each bar represents one day of trading price action. As we move our cursor around the chart, we see the price action as well as the volatility on that day. Remember that the strategy calls for us to be on the lookout for values over 100%. Next, we need to create a Connors RSI indicator that we can plot to go with the historical volatility indicator that we just wrote. Okay, so we're going to start a new study called Connors RSI, and we're just going to calculate all the variables in the Connors RSI specification. And once this script is done, we are going to apply this to the chart. Once we apply the Connors RSI indicator to the chart, we have a way to quickly visualize the CRSI along with the volatility on any given bar in the chart. Before we continue any further along, we really want to make sure that there's actually enough premium in these options to make any potential trade worth our while. So we're going to switch over to our trading platform and pull up Mara. In the options chain, we're really only interested in trades 30 to 45 days long. So we're going to expand the options chain that's 46 days out, which is the October 15th options. Here we can see that the market makers expect Mara to move up or down about 11 points over the next 45 days. And we definitely want to be out of the way of that expected move. On the call side, there's really only one option that's out there outside of the expected move, and that is the 55 strike. If we select the 55 strike, we can see that this option has an 88% probability of profit. If we buy the option back at 50% profit, then it has a 94% probability of profit. Each contract that we sell will add negative 24 points worth of negative delta to our portfolio. Our max profit for one option is $179 for each contract and our maximum loss is infinite. If we had high conviction here and we had a larger account size, we could potentially sell 10 contracts and collect about $1,800 in premium. 
As far as premium goes, this looks fairly decent. Next, we want to mark our margin of safety on the chart. Our strike price was 55, so we'll draw a line indicating that strike on the chart. Next, we want to mark the expiration date on the chart as well so we can visualize that margin of safety. Without looking at any other metrics, we can see that for us to lose on this trade, Mara needs to rise 17 points in order to get in the money. Remember that the market makers project that this option will only move about 11 points over the next 45 days. Also important is that 55 is just about Mara's all-time high. If you were to place a trade, you would be making a bet that Mara is not going to break all-time highs over the next 45 days. The last thing we want to do is tie all this data together by writing a back test to see how this specific stock responds to the Connors crash rule set. So we need to whip up a quick back test and pine script to analyze the signals. Once the strategy is applied to the chart, you can see that the strategy has about a 75% win rate. It looks like there were three signals triggered in 2021 and they were all pretty much dead right. We don't have any active signals right now, so if you're trading this strategy, then you actually don't have a trade at the moment. You could wait for the signal to trigger by checking in on this stock each day, or you might see that those 94% market maker probabilities are high enough to, and then decide to place a trade. Regardless of what you decide to do, those two indicators that we wrote can stay on your chart because they're very useful for all your trading. So that's the Connors crash strategy on steroids. I've been having some great success with it over the summer, but just remember that you do need to use some discretion here. In some cases, like what we saw in the demo, we may not be receiving a signal, but the trade could still be a good trade and vice versa. In any event, thanks for checking out the video. I'm bouncing around this idea of maybe creating a members only club or something like that where I can go deeper into my active strategies without the need to try to make these videos entertaining and fun to watch. But I don't know if that's worth my time or not. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in something like that. Anyway, that's all I've got for you today. We'll see you in the next video.